Okay, kicking off turn number five with Arjun. He went down in the last turn. So to continue on, we're gonna have to use our last healing surge to bring him back up. So he uses a token and he comes back up with five HP. So let's have Arjun stand up. Now we have this spear gauntlet and this is a really bad trap because it continues, uh, it continues to attack turn after turn and it will attack each hero within one tile. So th sometimes you can just get away from a trap just by getting off the tile, but this one's going to continue attacking here, here, and here. So we either have to get rid of it or we have to run really far away from it. So I think what we'll do is we'll... Let's see. We'll, we'll, okay, so first of all, we're going we're gonna to try to disable this trap. This uses our... This is instead of attacking. So this uses our attack action just to get rid of this trap. So that's what we're going to do. We have to roll a 10 or higher to get rid of the trap. And we got a 16. So good news. We disabled the trap. So the trap goes away. And I guess you don't get any experience for these, apparently. Doesn't look like it. So we disabled the trap. So at least that's gone. So put that over here. So Arjun. So he didn't attack, but he used a action to disable a trap. So I'll just put, you know, disabled trap DT. And I don't believe you get treasure for disabling a trap, so that's unfortunate. Uh, he does have this ability to use to attack each monster on his tile. This does not count as an attack. So I think this would be a good time to use it so we can kind of get maximum use out of this turn. So Arjun's going to use this, uh, this treasure item. So we'll go ahead and do that to, against the skeleton. And that's a 16, so that's going to hit. So that's going to take out the skeleton. So that will go into our experience pile. And the skeleton goes down. Now, so we did that. And then he will move, but we did take out a, a, a monster so we do get a treasure card let's go ahead and draw from the treasure deck see what he gets use this during your hero phase uh, you or an adjacent hero regains two hit points well we certainly need that and it's still our hero phase so we can use this and we'll give it to or we'll have it, it says you or an adjacent hero so Alyssa's adjacent so we'll pour it over her head or have her drink or however it works and we'll give her those two hit points. So this is back up to three. And now we'll have Arjun move. He has a speed of five, so let's uh, slide this up here. So he can go one, two, three, four. He moves his full speed down here. And now he's exploring. So let's draw a dungeon tile. It's a white tile which means he could uh, give up a treasure item to get another power, but he doesn't have any treasure items. So yes, he explored, got a white tile. And let's see what kind of monster Arjun gets. Another spider, okay. So we'll bring out the spider, place it on the bone pile. So Arjun got a, a spider and no encounter. The ghoul of the spider is gone. That skeleton's gone. That spear gauntlet is gone. So the only thing we have out now is a spider. And that will activate. So if it's adjacent, it's not. If it's within the tile, it is. It's going to attack the closest hero. With the aesthetic webs, that's going to be a plus 11 against Arjun. And that's going to be an 8. 8 plus 11 is uh, 19, so that's going to hit. 
It's going to do one damage to Arjun, slow him down, and the spider, you know, retracts itself up to Arjun using that web. So that's going to slow him down. So Arjun takes one damage from the... Okay, so that's going to be the end of Arjun's turn, and we move immediately over to Alyssa. Okay, all right, I know what I'm going to do. So Alyssa has a speed of six. So... Okay, Alyssa has a speed of six, so she's going to move one, two, three, four, five, because she can move through Arjun and six. That'll put her on this tile, and then she can use her scout to explore. So she moves six. So she moved her full speed, and she's just going to ping. So she moved, now she's going to attack. She's just going to ping that spider to take it out. So the spider goes down. So let's start updating for Alyssa. So she didn't need a token. She moved, she attacked, she gets a treasure. Now, instead of taking a treasure for Alyssa, we're going to just get... Uh, have her regain one hit point. So we'll take her from three to four. So yes, but I always what I do is I just put plus one just to indicate that yes, she could have taken a treasure, but instead she took a plus one. So now she's going to explore. I'm gonna slide all this up, and we'll have her explore. Um, move this stuff out of the way. I'm gonna move the treasure, the experience pile over here. We'll have her explore this way. So she gets uh, oh, Strahd's Crypt from Adventure 1. She gets a white tile. Gonna be a monster on that tile. Cobalt Skirmisher. So we'll grab the Cobalt Skirmisher, put him on the bone pile, and we'll update what's going on with Alyssa. So she got a white tile, she got a Cobalt Skirmisher. She has none of these, no encounter so the cobalt skirmisher will activate and basically it's just gonna throw its javelin because it says if the cobalt skirmisher is within one tile it attacks the closest here with its uh, javelin so that's gonna be a plus nine on that attack so it needs to roll really low to miss her and that is not really low so that's gonna hit but it just does one damage. It doesn't slow or do anything else. So Alyssa goes down to three hit points. And that will be the end of turn number five. Things have turned around a little bit for us. So we'll see how it continues from here.